All right, let's understand the concept of Amazon S3 versioning. There are basically two types. One is versioning not enabled. This is uh, by default is not enabled. And another is versioning is enabled. So I've here taken the example of one file. This is the test object. And if we are not enabling versioning in S3, then any object will have the version ID is null. On the other hand, if we enable versioning, like as soon as we enable versioning, the object that is, let's say the file name is test, it will have some version ID. It can be anything like a combination of numbers and digits, alphabets, uh, something like that, right? So uh, th th there can be multiple uh, versions, like uh, this is, let's say, the first file you uploaded, then you uploaded this. So uh, there is kind of a pointer concept. The more files uh, you overwrite, it will point to the latest version. I'll show in the hands-on, like how to recover the files as well, like how to roll back even to the oldest version as well. So that's what versioning is uh, meant for. So let's uh, go through some of the theory part of it is. So first thing and important thing about versioning, like why we need versioning. Versioning is mainly used if we have accidentally deleted or like it's overwritten by someone or we need to roll back to the previous version of something. So this is the primary use of versioning. So there are, as uh, mentioned, like uh, if the versioning is disabled, the version ID is set to null. We'll see this in hands-on in a couple of minutes. And also another important thing is the third point that if you override an object, S3 adds a new version uh, to the uh, in the bucket, right? So we'll uh, see this in hands-on. So let's uh, dive uh, what it looks like. All right, we are at the AWS console now. We'll search S3 because versioning is related to S3. So I have already gone one step ahead and created one bucket named Cloud Guru Amit 007. Before uh, uploading anything, let me show you that under the properties, versioning is uh, currently disabled. So I uh, got to show you uh, the behavior of it as well. So let's upload one file from the uh, system. I have created one txt file name. Uh, this is version one. I'll uh, upload this file and show you how versioning works. So I'll click on upload, add files. We need to browse the location from our computer. I have created a text file, which mentioned I'll click on open. Let's upload it. You just got to keep in mind where a versioning is currently disabled, right? So the object is uploaded now. Let's see uh, this thing. Like let's uh, open this in a new tab. This is version one. That is what uh, the content of the file was. And now let's uh, go to properties. And this time we'll enable versioning. Like let's save it. I've saved it. Now let's go to the object and let's click on show version. As you can see the by default, like if uh, the versioning is not enabled before creation of this file, the version ID is null. Now let me show you the uh, magic. Let me delete uh, this one and I'll show you another example. Uh, this demo isn't uh, covered by uh, uh, many tutorials I have seen because uh, that's what I want to clear the concept. Those things are not covered. I'll cover it for you so that uh, you become a, a master of like uh, AWS. So now I'll upload the same thing. Just note currently I have enabled the versioning, right? Previously when it was disabled, version ID was null. So let's upload the same file. So I'll go to the same file test. Let's open and I'll uh, upload. So it got succeeded. And now see the magic. See, currently the version ID is not null. It is having some value. That is say uh, this value, right? 
so this is what i wanted to show many people show that uh, by default uh, null is there then this version id is uh, coming up so that is wrong concept if you enable versioning by default there will be some version id linked to it it won't be null if you haven't enabled it will override the file with null so now uh, let's test the concept of versioning now so i'll open the file on my computer and make it as version 2 and save it let's go back to the console and now let's upload uh, the, the file by overriding it i'll upload the same file but uh, this time it's mentioned version 2 so it's uploading yeah it got uploaded and now let's click on show version so see there's a pointer link to it see this this thing this is our uh, previous version and let's uh, just uh, like toggle this off let's see what um, uh, value it's returning let's open this see it's returning by default the latest uh, version uh, now let's say I'll, I'll uh, give you an example like let's say I want to go back to the previous version that is uh, version 1 uh, the previous text file where it says version 1 so what we can do we can remove this if you remove this then it will become the latest version so whenever we want to roll back you just got to keep in mind all the versions that is the you know, version which you want to keep above that all the versions uh, you need to delete it so I'll, uh, uh, for example I'll just uh, go ahead and delete this for the simplicity of this demo let's copy paste yep delete object it's got deleted now let's see the magic let's open uh, a, a show version it will have only one version I'll toggle this off and see what uh, this value is returning see it's version 1 the previous version so we have successfully rolled back to the previous version of the object so if you want to roll back any kind of images so this is how it goes like especially we know s3 is used for static website hosting where you can roll back to any kind of previous image and all so this is uh, the version uh, this is a concept of versioning so i hope uh, you like the concept please put up a thumbs up button or please support uh, this video uh, so let's meet in next hands-on 